Hey church, it's Pastor Joel and I'm here with another weekly devotional. I just started a new Bible study this week with some of the folks of the church and even though we're studying a familiar piece of scripture, we're reading through the Gospel of Luke, I get so excited to study it again because the Bible is a living, breathing thing through the power of the Holy Spirit. It made me think about this passage from Hebrews. It says this, The Word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing until it divides soul from spirit, joints from marrow. It is able to judge the thoughts and intentions of the heart. I, what an amazing phrase about our scriptures. It is a living thing. I have always found that to be true. As soon as I feel like I am familiar and know a piece of scripture, I turn to it and it speaks to me in some new way through the power of the Holy Spirit because it is a living thing. And I love this imagery of it being like a double-edged sword because coming into contact with scripture is not a safe thing. If we go to church on Sunday and all we hear is comfort, 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 and we never feel challenged by Scripture, then we may be missing the point of Scripture. It can be like a double-edged sword, and it can reveal our intentions, it says, and know us deeply. It's such a powerful thing, and that's why each and every time I turn to it, I find something new, I find something to challenge me, and I hope that you do too. So this week, I want you to turn back to Scripture. Maybe it'll be this passage in Hebrews. Maybe it'll be somewhere else. But as you return to Scripture, invite God to speak to you once again and use it as a living, breathing thing and to help it to refine you and cut away what may not need to be there, like a sword might be able to do or like a knife might be able to do, and to let God make you more into His image. Please pray with me. God, we as your people love your scripture. We don't always love the challenge that it brings, but we love that it does challenge us. And we love that it's always fresh and new each time we read it because of the power of your Holy Spirit. And so we ask once again that as we encounter scripture this week, as people of faith and as your children, that you would use it to grow us and change us and refine us and challenge us so that we might always grow closer to you. All this we pray in your holy name. Amen. Thanks. We'll see you next week.